Good afternoon, Rabbi Gabriel Jackson here. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. So the other day, my knee was hurting me a little bit. So I know everyone knows this, most people know this, but they say if you walk, it's better for the knees. But what's interesting is, is if you walk uphill, you burn a lot of calories also. You don't burn as much as jogging from a faster pace. But, you know, it just takes an extra 15 minutes and suddenly you are burning the same amount of calories. And I was thinking about it, that why is it downhill? Maybe I, maybe I should burn some calories downhill. What, what is it about going uphill that burns more calories or going flat? Why is uphill burning the calories? And I think there's a beautiful message that is when you take the path that's a little harder, that's more difficult, that's often the right path. Rabbi I mean, Orlick used to always tell us when you're struggling with two decisions, the harder of the two is usually always the right one. And if it's difficult, it's usually the right thing to do. And in life, that's what Judaism is about. Abraham Avinu, our forefather, what did he do? He went against everybody else. Everybody else is worshiping idols. He says, This is ridiculous. There's one God, the creator of the universe, and he went against everybody. And in life, often you have to go against what everyone else is doing. And we all know about health. We all know, you ask anybody, yeah, I gotta watch what I eat, I have to watch, I have to exercise, nutrition, everybody knows about health, physical health. But when it comes to spiritual health, I think people either avoid the question or are not honest with themselves. You know, this body, which is the vessel to our soul, of course has to be in shape. Of course, we take care of it so we can have a clear mind, we can live a long life, a healthy life, with the energy to learn Torah, to do mitzvahs. But at the end of the day, the body goes back to the ground. The body dies. But the soul lives on forever. So how are you giving nutrition to your soul, which is more important than physical nutrition? That's with Torah and mitzvahs. So just like it's hard to go uphill, hard to exercise, not easy. It's easy to sit on your couch and relax. That's what's easy. Easy to an ice cream cone. It's not easy to watch what you eat and exercise. So too, you have to do what's hard. Learn Torah. There's nothing greater than learning Torah. Nothing. In fact, Baruch Hashem, two of my learning partners already finished a different book. We just finished, my, my Kenny Rosen, my friend and I, we finished the Tractate Megillah. And Jeremy Sork and I finished the book of Samuel, Aleph, the first book of Samuel, Shmuel. So exciting, it gives me so much pleasure, more pleasure than you can imagine. And of course, I'm excited to go back to that. I'm excited to learn it again, and get more knowledge, more wisdom, more excitement. But you have to learn Torah, my friends. If you are excited by exercise, you're excited by losing weight, you'll get even more excited by learning Torah. So do it, stop. Wasting the time already. Start today. Feed your eternity. Feed your soul. Learn the Torah. PM me. We'll get together and learn the Torah. Maybe more on the treadmill. Back to you, Bob and Studio. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Mwah.